Hello, welcome to my bookshelf and today I wanted to do my year in review and of course this is in regards to all the books I read um, so let's just jump on in. I have a lot of statistics to throw at you so strap on in. Um, so I read 56 books in total for 2017. That totals to 17,671 pages that I read this past year um, and technically there's actually a bit more because I read books in December, but I didn't finish any. So I haven't included any statistics as far as my December reading because I didn't finish any of those books. So I'm not counting any of those page numbers or anything like that. But do know that I did read in December. I just didn't finish a book, so I didn't count it officially. So that's kind of unfortunate as far as like my numbers go, but it is what it is. Moving right along, uh, let's talk about some more page count related things. So let's look at how many pages my books are. So like how long these books I'm reading are. You know, most of the books that I read were 200 some pages, 37% um, roughly. Um, of the books I read. Um, and then after that, I read 14 books <laughs> that were 300 and some pages. And that's 25% of the books I read. So a fourth of the books I read were 300 and some pages, which to me is just awesome. And then from there, like both sides were pretty similar. I have one book that's less than 100, so we're just going to ignore that, I guess. But um, I have eight that were 100 and some pages. I have seven that were 400 and some pages. I have three that were 500 and some pages, and two that were 600 plus pages, um, which, again, is just amazing to me. Like, I can't believe I read you know, some really big books. I mean, overall, most of my books are within the 200 and 300 page range, which is pretty average for a book, but I am proud that I have quite a few books over 500 pages. That's pretty exciting. Um, so moving right along, um, let's break things down as far as page count and number of books read as far as each month. Um, so I have this all broken down for you. In January, uh, I will just like to say that I didn't start my channel yet, but I did read two books, so I am including that on here, and I'm not including things that, like I said, I read in December, so that's just completely out of this whole schematic. I also broke down, on average, per month, how many pages I read per book, if that makes sense. So like how long each book was per month, on average, just kind of using the total page count, dividing that by how many books I read that month, if that makes any sense. So, using those kinds of numbers, I have some statistics for you, which I think are interesting, at least for me. Um, so, on average, using that, like, per book statistic I kind of came up with, um, the longest books I read um, on average in a month was actually in February, which to me is kind of surprising, because February was the first month that I actually started my channel. Um, and on average, those books were about 430 pages long which, you know, is long, uh, so I'm very proud of myself for doing that. The shortest books that I read in a month was in November, and on average those books were about 219 pages long, and I actually read eight books in November, so that to me is very interesting <laughs> that, you know, the average is so low. I must have read some pretty short books in that month that that's the average. Moving right along, the most books I completed in a single month was eight, and I actually did this twice, which I'm proud of. Once, like I said, in November, and once in March. I also read seven books in July, so kind of spaced out, which I think is interesting. I just have, like, bursts where I read a lot. And then I have a couple months in between where I don't read as much, which I think is interesting to take note of. Um, the least amount of books I read in a single month was uh, January with two. Um, and again, not surprising considering I hadn't started my channel at that point and I'd only just started this whole reading thing um, up again. Uh, moving on along, uh, the most pages that I read in a single month was in March with almost 3,000 pages. Like, Wow, to me that's just amazing. Admittedly, I did read eight books, but um, yeah, it totaled to quite a few pages. Um, and then the least amount of pages I read in a single month was also in January, and again, that makes sense. And that was uh, 553 pages. 
and again, makes total sense. So now let's jump into other statistics other than page count. Overall, I had a pretty good reading year as far as ratings go. So seven of the books that I read, I rated five stars. Uh, 25 of the books I read, I rated four stars. Um, 16 of the books I read, I rated three stars, seven two stars, and one one star. About half of them, in and of themselves, just got four stars. And then if you like total it even more, 57%-ish um, uh, were four stars and above. So over half of the books I read were books that I really enjoyed. Um, and then there were a decent amount, you know, a, a little more than a fourth of the books I read were okay, <laughs> just okay. And then there was like 13% of the books I read that I just didn't like. So I think that that's a pretty good spread of those ratings. I don't think that it's too horrible. Thankfully, the skew is towards the higher ratings. I appreciate that. Overall, it was a pretty good year as far as ratings, so that's good. Hopefully that stays up. Hopefully there's even less books that are low ratings. And another thing that I found interesting, the rest of these are all just kind of things that I noticed. Um, when I was uh, writing down these statistics. So publication date. And this to me is interesting just because obviously this isn't something that I'm actively trying to spread out, but I think I did a pretty good job of kind of spreading out, you know, the variety of publication dates, if that makes sense. So I have a wide range. Um, I actually read 24 books that were from 2011 to 2017, so within the last, you know, six, seven years, and that's almost half the books actually that I read, which I'm kind of surprised by that there's even that many in just those short of a year span, but uh, the rest of them are pretty well spread out um, underneath that. I mean, admittedly, about a third is within, um, like, the first decade of the 2000s, so, like, 2000 to 2010. During the 80s to the 2000s, I have five. I have four books from the 50s to the 80s, um, and then six books that were older than 1950, which to me is amazing. <laughs> I can't believe that. My oldest book that I read was Crime and Punishment, which was published in 1866. That is an old book. Uh, that is about 251 years old at this point. I hope I can keep that up. I think that's just kind of cool. Um, you get a nice variety of the kinds of books you're reading for sure. And going along with the variety, let's jump into the genres that I read this year. And again, it's pretty spread out and I'm very proud of that. Like I said, I've always tried to read diversely in a variety of meanings of that word, if that makes sense. Um, so genres. The most popular genre I read was uh, by far science fiction and fantasy. I read 21 books that would be classified under those genres. That's um, a little bit more than a third of the books I read. Then I had 10 contemporary books I read, which is about 18% of the books I read. Uh, I had six thriller mystery books, five memoirs slash nonfiction books, and the last 14 books that I read were a part of different genres I haven't even mentioned as of yet. It actually totals to be eight different other genres that encompass those 14, but still, there were a lot of genres that I only had one book that I read that fit that genre category. So I found that to be very interesting. A fourth of the books that I read fit in the other category as far as genres. There really wasn't... The most I have in this other category is three books that fit a specific genre. So. Like I said, pretty spread out. I think that's really cool. I like the fact that I read a diverse amount of books and that like the books are just very different from each other. I think that's really cool. And then some more statistics about things that, again, not something I'm actively trying to do, but things I just noticed, which I think is cool. It's really interesting, actually, because my male to female author ratio is almost exactly even. It's one number off. Um, I don't have the exact number on me, but I want to say it's like 28 males to 27 females or something like that. And then I also have one that was a collab, one male, one female, so do with that as you wish. Um, but yeah, I mean, to have it be pretty much 50-50 is just mind-boggling. I mean, I just can't believe that. Obviously, I wasn't doing that on purpose. And there were some months that were like predominantly male, and then other months were predominantly female, but it just somehow averaged out. And I just, I was just astounded when I did that math. That was just 
shocking to me. Another really interesting statistic is my American versus non-American authors. I did somewhat try to have more non-American authors. I mean, uh, just throughout the year, I've tried to incorporate more authors that weren't American. So I was trying to skew this a little bit uh, throughout the year. Like, this was something I was actively trying to work on. Um, and I think it paid off. Um, I actually did more than I thought I would. Because, I mean, if you look at it, like, I tried to have at least one author per month. So that would be, like, 12 books, right? But 20 of the authors I read from were not American. Now, I will preface this by saying that most of my non-American authors are from like the UK. So they're from countries that are pretty darn similar to America and some of them I was actually surprised to find out that the author was not American. So as far as diversity goes, it's not exactly that diverse, but it's at least heading in the right direction. I clearly like the UK. That was pretty clear. But I still think that's a really good statistic. Um, so. That's about a third of the books that I read were from non-American authors. I mean, admittedly, like I said, most of them from the UK, but I still think that's good. Um, I think that's a pretty good average to have. So 36 of the authors I read were actually American. Moving right along, uh, 16 of the books that I read were debut uh, novels or books I should say I think one of the nonfiction books I read was like their first book but either way so that's not quite a third but you know it's almost there it's like 28 percent and again obviously not something I'm trying to do but I just think it's interesting and I think that goes to my next statistic which I am just like flabbergasted by so 75% of the books that I read in 2017 were from authors that I had never read before. 75%! Only 25% of the books that I read were from authors I've already read before. Now, in that statistic, I did read the Lunar Chronicles, okay? So I only counted her once as a new author, okay? The other times, I didn't count her as new to me. So, you know, for this year, in a sense, I mean, it depends how you want to put that. I decided, you know, Technically, the second book is no longer new to me. You know, I literally just read the other author, so I don't know how other people would have done that, but that's how I decided to do it. So depending how you look at the numbers, it, that percentage could actually be higher, which I think is kind of cool. Um, so, yeah, I like to read from authors I don't know, which again, I think is a cool thing to be able to say. And I think this makes sense too, especially since... I haven't been reading consistently um, since like high school, so I'm not really that familiar with authors, uh, sad to say. I've heard of a lot of authors, but honestly, you know, for being such a big book lover, I haven't really read that many. So I'm happy to like jump up that number now. So there's a lot of authors now that I've read. So that's exciting, and I hope that number continues to grow, and I hope that I continue to read authors that are new to me. And the last statistic I have for you is that about a third of the books that I read this year were books that were part of a series. So that's just kind of a fun fact. Most of the books I read are standalones, and I'm okay with that. I know that when I was younger, I would not have been so okay with that, but the older I get, the more I'm okay with that. <laughs> like, series are great, and they do have a lot of merit, but I just don't go out of my way necessarily to seek them out the way I used to when I was in high school, when that's almost, like, the only thing I read was series. All right, so those are all the statistics I have for you. Um, I know it's kind of a lot thrown at you. I just think it's really interesting. Maybe you do, maybe you don't, that's okay. I'm just glad I, I have these numbers to throw at you, if not for you guys, and at least for me in the future, looking back, I can, I can compare next year to this year's statistics and see how things have changed and evolved. I'm very proud of how this year turned out, even without me. Uh, actively trying to uh, do that. So I, I'm really happy with the, the books that I got to read this year and I hope that next year will be another fantastic year for reading. So as always, I just want to thank you guys so much for watching this video and until next time.